Now, at least three sailors have been killed in an attack by Yemen's Houthi fighters on a cargo ship in the Gulf of Aden. Now, that's according to U.S. Central Command. There are, or they are, the first fatalities since Houthis began their attacks on commercial shipping in protest against Israel's war on Gaza. The owners of the vessel say that the true confidence was struck 90 kilometres off the coast of Aden. The ship is reportedly adrift and on fire. There were 20 crew on board and three armed security guards. The naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces carried out a targeting operation against the American ship through confidence in the Gulf of Aden with a number of naval missiles. The strike was accurate and led to a fire breaking out on board the vessel. The targeting operation came after the ship crew ignored warning messages from the Yemeni naval forces. The Yemeni armed forces persist in upholding their religious, moral and humanitarian duties and supporting the oppressed Palestinian people. The operations in the Red and Arab Seas will not stop until the aggression stops and the siege on the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip is lifted. Shia Britansi has more from Washington, D.C. U.S. Central Command and the Pentagon say that the vessel hit was a Barbados-flagged, Liberian-owned bulk carrier that was transiting the Gulf of Aden. It's very difficult to tell from that whether there is any U.S. connection, as the Houthis claim, given the opacity, the lack of transparency, the flags of convenience in international shipping. The Pentagon did give us some more information, though, about the context of this latest attack. They say it's the fifth anti-ship ballistic missile fired by the Houthis in the last two days. Two of those missiles impacted two shipping vessels, and one was shot down by the USS Kearney. The Houthis say that they will continue targeting vessels linked to what they call the Israeli genocide as long as it continues, as long as the U.S. allows it to continue. But there's no change in policy from the State Department asked as to how successful U.S. policy is of deterren deterrence and de degradation of Houthi capabilities. Matt Miller, the State Department spokesperson, simply said it's a long-term process. But apparently still, the one... The one element that the U.S. is still not considering is uh, stopping or attempting to stop what the Houthis say is a genocide in Gaza. Shia Bertansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.